Previously on Lost. My name is Sam Thomas, and uh, well, up until a few days ago, I worked for Oceanic Airlines. My partner, Sonia, also worked for Oceanic. Sonia was on board flight 805. Tomorrow, I'm flying to Jakarta. I'm going to hitch a ride aboard a salvage boat called the Christian One. And I'm doing this because I received a coded message in a photograph from a group called Maxwell. I've had enough of waiting until it's too late. I don't know. Life's thrown me a few surprises lately. So I guess I'm just taking a break from it all. Look, it's an expedition. It's not a getaway for cash-strapped tourists. Well, you wouldn't have to pay me. You just feed me and I'll sling a hammock on the deck. No. Like I told you on the phone, we're crewed up. We'll be at sea for months, so every gram of cargo is there for a specific purpose. I can't afford dead weight. Owen! Get Sakano on the phone, will you? And tell him his shoddy handy work's gonna cost me two days if he doesn't hurry up. What is it? I'm afraid, Mr. Talbot, we won't be leaving today. That, Mr. Arkham, is unacceptable. We're already a day over schedule. My employer's requirements were made quite clear. Your employer's requirements were made at short notice, and quite frankly, installing their special requirements takes time. It's a chart plotter, right? I'd like to say it's just the SPU board. You know how to fix it. Fix it? I could probably build you a new one from scratch. Sukarno's so ringing back in three minutes. You beat him to it, you got your hammock. What's your name? Sam Thomas. Welcome aboard. Show you the cabin. What's your interest in the Sunda Trench, Sam Thomas? Oh, like I said, I'm just looking to get away from it all for a while. Get away or, uh, or run away? Does it really matter? You ask half the crew that question. My employers know all there is to know about you and your crew, Mr. Arkham. They're too much at stake to risk any surprises. But Sam here is a mystery. Oh, I wouldn't worry. I'm just your uh, regular guy next door. Yes. Honest, hardworking, easy going. Yeah. Something like that. Perfect girlfriend. I wonder what you're getting away from. Come here. Look, I can't guarantee your equipment's gonna hold out. Given our destination, I can't rule out a complete electronics meltdown. This is an insurance policy you need to take out. Call me when it's fully operational. I'll need to install security measures. Welcome aboard. You really know how to make friends, don't you? Thank you.
it is being reported that all communications with aviation pioneer Amelia Earhart have been lost. Miss Earhart was en route from New Guinea to Howland Island as part of a daring round-the-world flight. A tireless advocate for the aeronautical industry, Miss Earhart was the first woman to cross the Atlantic Ocean, as well as the first to cross it solo. She regarded aviation as a relatively safe form of travel that should be widely adopted. The last verified communication received by the United States Coast Guard was at 8.43 a.m. today and indicated that Miss Earhart's Lockheed Electra was low on fuel. A search is already underway by the Coast Guard. There are many reports from across the Pacific of communications picked up from Miss Earhart's phone, but these are yet to be authenticated. I think I have made a big mistake. At the moment, we're about 300 kilometres off the Indonesian coast in a area called the Sunda Trench, deep waters around uh, 7,000 metres in some parts. And sure enough, the Christian One's mission is to search for a sunken slave trading ship <coughs> called the Black Rock that disappeared in 1881 whilst returning from a gold mining expedition around Papua New Guinea. I mean, that's all fascinating, but what does it have to do with 815? I'm starting to wonder what the hell I'm doing here. I thought following this lead would give me something to do. Besides just sit around and think, but sailing up and down over miles and miles of ocean, looking for a needle in a haystack 7,000 metres deep, unfortunately gives you nothing but time to think. And what else makes me wonder whether this is all worth it is I received another email. This Maxwell group. And I just don't know what to make of it. It's uh, just incomprehensible numbers. I can't make any sense of it no matter how long I stare at it. Maybe I just, I don't know, read too much into the first email. It's just somebody having a laugh because they saw me mouthing off on TV. <laughs> well, some joke. No, I think I'll just get off the next port. There's nothing to find out here.